What's up everybody, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today is August, I think it's uh, maybe August 15th. I haven't, I haven't joined you guys on the, on the YouTube channel in quite a while. It's been I think about a month and a half since I talked to you guys. But as you can see back here, I've actually been up to something. I've been growing, I just haven't been showing. Check it out, beautiful greenery absolutely delicious greenery right now is the time for you to learn keep learning keep educating yourself on all of the backlogged videos that i have showing you guys on how to grow indoors all right if you're new to the channel my name is michael i'm an indoor hydroponic grower everything that you see here everything behind me all the instruments that you need to maintain your own indoor grow are listed down below make sure to hit those links Make sure to keep learning. Make sure to go back to the old videos. Make sure to go back to the largest video that I have to learn the A to Z guidelines on growing your own food. It's super, super important, all right? It's very important that you start understanding the basics, the basic concepts of what you need. What do you actually need to actually be able to grow inside? Then being able to grow inside is the easiest part. Let me take you into this tent now. Let me show you what's going on. By the way, again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you can, please give me the thumbs up and share this video. If you have friends or family who've been interested in kind of experimenting with indoor hydroponic growing, send them this video. Send them the, the entire channel. Let them, uh, you know, let them kind of peruse through the, through the catalog of hundreds of videos that I have online to really show them what's available online to teach them how to start growing indoors, all right? Let's dive into the back here. Let me show you what I got going on. Let's check it out. All right, look at all this. Look at all these abundant flavors. Beautiful, beautiful greenery. Wow, I love this. I honestly, okay, honestly, have not touched this, okay? I fed these plants one time meaning I gave them nutrients one single time and you could get literally this much food, this much flavor, this much food to table, garden to table. Literally, you could come in here, snip, 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 and have a beautiful, delicious, gorgeous, bug-free, directly off the stem salad. Look at this. That's what it's all about. It's all about, it's, 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 it's not just about survival. Though these videos are extremely useful in that case because you could take that knowledge and transition it into a survival mode scenario. You know, how do you go about having food in an X type of scenario? Well, this is it. This is it, if you're able to have power, you're able to have water, you could grow an abundance of vegetables. Well, let me be clear. I don't grow hydroponic vegetables. I primarily focus on lettuce, as you guys know, all my, all my day ones, okay? I, I specifically go for lettuce because number one, you could have a large yield, okay? What that means is you could have a large amount of a crop especially based on the space that I have here, lettuce will provide me with the largest consumption of food. Also, in addition to that, this is a non-pollinating type of plant, meaning it doesn't require pollination. Okay, if you don't understand what that means, please Google it and understand about pollination. But when you're growing lettuce, it doesn't require that, in which case it's easily growable indoors. As you can see here, I haven't even filled this third bucket yet. And I haven't even gone to the bottom shelf yet. Some of you might ask why. Well, number one, I've been having a problem with this large light that I had over here. Okay, it was a four bulb large light right here. I got the I got the four bulbs here, but this light has been acting up. It's like on, it's off. I don't know what's up with it. But I think before the winter time, probably in the next month or two months, I'm definitely gonna get a new light here. And I'm thinking, I'm really considering about getting two new ones here 
basically those same T5s right there. Everything that you see here, guys, I got linked it down below. You know, from the shelving to the tubing to the pump to the fan to the temperature. This is the temperature gauge. What that means is it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit inside the tent with 59% humidity level. Those are like perfect conditions. You like these lights? Those are T5s. Okay, you can check the links right down below. Everything is available. I did all the research for you. This is the best pump on the market if you're growing indoors. The best pump on the market. I only say this because I've been using it for years. It doesn't overheat and it's quiet. See, I gotta, I gotta get some water in these guys immediately. And I'm probably gonna make an enormous salad tomorrow. I've been really trying to eat clean, eat more alkaline. You know, the gut biome is so important these days. It literally has to do with everything. Your mood, your energy, your focus, everything. It could be coming directly from the gut. Okay? And that's why I experiment with these beautiful lettuce heads. I mean, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. That's cool. You know what's cool? This. <laughs> This is cool. Being able to grow your own food. Now, that's a huge flex. Okay, you got guests coming over? You got guests coming over? Somebody might have a fancy car. You know, but you come over. This, this is, you know, you say, hey, I got my own lettuce farm inside my home. Do you? No. As they always say, food and seeds is the next currency based on what could happen in the world potentially. Can you imagine if you and your family had a Lamborghini, but the other guy had a farm of lettuce, you would probably trade in that Lamborghini for some lettuce. I know I would, because you can't eat those tires. You cannot eat the carbon fiber on the Lamborghini. I know this is all nonsense that I'm saying, but basically what it all means is educate yourself. Educate yourself on how to grow this large head of lettuce. Because you know what? It costs $4 at the supermarket and it comes with absolutely free bugs. <laughs> what that means is literally you could get some dirt and some bugs inside of the packaging. I always love that when I pick up a head of lettuce and I look inside and I kind of turn it around just to make sure of, you know, how look at it, how old it is. And I'm finding an actual a, a live bug. It's crawling around. It's disgusting. I don't need it. I really don't need bugs in my lettuce. Look at that. Look how clean that is. It's beautiful. There's no dirt. It's not outside. It's inside. This whole situation is set up inside. And you too can have this. Check out the links down below. All right, guys. I'm going to check out. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Let's get recharged. Monday is tomorrow. Let's get recharged. Some of you that are already watching this video, you could be heading into Tuesday. We are a worldwide channel. Growing Indoors 365 is global. Everybody needs to eat and everybody wants to learn how to eat, especially growing their own. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the links down below. Give me the thumbs up if you can and share this video. Guys, this is Mike. Growing Indoors 365. More videos to come. I appreciate y'all watching. Talk to you guys soon.